Hello everybody and welcome back to my Nuzlocke. Now last we were able to catch Kaiba, um, not that Kaiba, um, <laughs> yeah, this Kaiba, <laughs> sorry about that, um, always get those guys mixed up, but, uh, yeah, so for this episode I'm thinking we'll probably go all the way down to Mount Pyre, we, we've got a little headband thing on, um, just because I'm pretty sure we got some, uh, some hidden secrets around here and obviously this thing's going haywire, so... There is something. I didn't really want to fight the ninja guy. We got a little cut thing up here that we can go to. Unfortunately, we don't have Wilhelmina anymore, so we can no longer cut things. And I just don't want to teach a cut to one of my other Pokemon. But we're going to pick this up over here, somewhere right here. Uh, and it's a Zinc. Now, like I said, um, I think before, I'm not going to be using any of these like high-powered um, items that like permanently increase things because I don't know if, um, if my Pokemon are going to survive till the end, and it would just be a waste. Um, so I'm speeding this up for you guys right now. I think it's at like four times speed. Um, just to kind of show you some things, just so we can speed through the episode a little bit more. Um, over here on the left, we have a, g you know, a gal that's going to give us some some stuff. But this is where you can find the uh, one of the mythic, not mythic, but legendary uh, Reggies. Uh, we got a, a rare candy and some other things. Um, we're gonna fight this uh, this battle trainer uh, chick, whatever her name is. The uh, Pokemon Ranger Jenna. Yeah, there we go. Um, you know, just to, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fight some people. So we're gonna send out, uh, our Absol here, Kaiba. Um, unfortunately, um, he's paralyzed from the previous battle. Um, hopefully it's not gonna do it, like, be that big of a deal. So we're gonna use the, uh, obviously we're gonna be using Incinerate. He used Energy Ball. Um, I don't know how well Incinerate's gonna work on this Lombre. Because, I mean, he's grass water and, yeah. Apparently he's more water than grass. So... We're probably gonna have to switch out for uh, for Andromeda here. Um, I I really I really do like Andromeda. I, I I like Altaria's just in general. They're really they're really elegant. Um, is probably the best word for them. Um, are they the strongest? No. Are dragons the best type? Probably not. But they look cool. And and it's a flying type. And flying, you know, I feel like you always need to have some type of flying Pokemon on your team. And so, I mean, that's just how that is. And we paralyzed him um, because of uh, because of Dragon Breath. Um, I think later, I think Andromeda is going to be learning Dragon Pulse, which I'll probably replace for the Dragon Breath. Um, Dragon Pulse, I don't think paralyzes, but I think it does more damage. So, there's that Energy Ball. Okay, that shouldn't do too much. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we got Steel Wing, Conk Guard. We're going to Steel Wing. Mainly because the other one, you know, whatever. So, there it is. Not very effective, but the Lombre fainted anyway. So, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, Grumpy, why well, switch out my Pokemon? Yeah, I'm going to switch out for Kaiba. Even though he's paralyzed and he's got, like, a little bit over half health. Uh, Grumpig is the ev evolution of Spoink. And so, therefore, it's a Psychic Pokemon, and Dark is good against Psychic, or Psychic isn't good against Dark at all. So, you know, this, it's, this is the this is the kind of what I have to do, because it's the best Pokemon that I have that can go up against Grumpy. Either way, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a normal po person. Um, I don't think he's going to be doing anything to us, no matter which Pokemon we sent out. So, Night Slash, one-shot Grumpig. Obviously, he fainted. Really not that big of a deal. Oh, it's got the little curly Q uh, tail on him. Uh, Kaiba leveled up, level 33. Um, that's 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 looking pretty good. Um, uh, he wants to learn detect. I don't think I'm gonna be learning detect, so we're just gonna hit keep all the moves. Yeah, give up learning the move. Yeah. So one of the reasons I, I really like to pick the name Kaiba. Um, I don't know if I said this in the last episode or not. Oh, Andromeda leveled up. Awesome. And we beat her. Yeah. So one of the reasons I, I picked the name Kaiba is because, uh, honestly, I think the Pokemon kind of looks like Seto Kaiba. I'm um, from Yu-Gi-Oh. And so. <laughs> There's that. Alright, so I healed up the Pokemon. I'm on Route 121. Uh, so we can catch a Gloom, Linoon, Pelipper, uh, Kecleon, and a Shuppet. So we are going to see what we can get. And it's a Shuppet. That's not too bad. Looks kind of like a, uh, like a, you know, it's obviously it's a ghost, but it looks like it has like a sheet draped over like a ball with a point on it. I don't really know. Shuppet's always been a strange looking character in my opinion. So... Um, I can't use Night Slash, so I'm going to use Incinerate. I mean, I can use Night Slash, but it'd probably kill it. Uh, it's over half health, so I can't use Incinerate again. Uh, he used... What, what did he use? Hex? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
So I probably just reach into my bag real quick. Um, yeah, I almost hit run on accident. Um, yeah, so let's go into the Pokeball section. We got great balls over here. And we're just going to see what we can do. You know, because obviously I can't hit it with anything else. Swords Dance isn't going to do any damage. Incinerate will kill it, and then Night Slash will definitely kill it. So, fingers crossed. And we got it. Perfect. Shuppet was caught. Ah, the question is, is what are we going to name her? Like, Bok Choy to level 40. I love Bok Choy. <laughs> oh, man, we should play with Bok Choy a little bit more. Um, yeah, Bok Choy, yeah, he's super clutch. So, a ghost Pokemon. What would be a good name for a ghost? Um, I'm going to choose Desiree, um, which is the ghost from Danny Phantom. Uh, you can look over here on the right. So I thought that that was really good. And actually, uh, looking at it in uh, in hindsight, because I'm doing this voiceover after I've actually done the game, the uh, it was a male. <laughs> so it's a male called Desiree. Uh, you know, people don't choose their name. Um, people choose names for them. So, you know, whatever. We're just going to bypass the fact that I just named a guy Desiree. Anyway, so Tammy's going to be sending out... Oh, sorry. Uh, Pokey Hex Witch Master Tammy sent out Duskull. <laughs> I don't know what she was called. But obviously we're sending out Kaiba because it's a ghost Pokemon. Dark moves are good. Now, Night Slash is a physical move. And I was pretty sure that physical moves didn't work against ghost Pokemon. But maybe because it's a dark type move, it works. Or maybe Duskull is like half ghost, and so it, it works against him as well. I'm not really sure, but if it's like a if it's like solely ghost, then I don't think physical moves work. But I think Sableye is 100% ghost, unless it's like psychic ghost. I really don't know. I'm obviously gonna use Night Slash again to see if it works. But yeah, if you guys if you guys know how Dark works against Ghost, please let me know down in the comments because. I really am not 100% sure. I know Dark is strong against Ghost, but I don't know if it's like if they're like half and half or not. Either way, Night Slash again. We don't need to catch him because he's not ours. He's a different Pokemon. And we already did whatever. So, yeah, Kaiba gained 940 experience and experience share. Hex Maniac Tammy. Tammy's a good name. I really like that kind of, or like, I really like the name Tammy. So, we fought that chick as well. And over here we have uh, some goons. Okay, we're moving out to Mount Pyre. We're getting our hands on that orb. Yes, sounds great. I think I'm gonna head over to Mount Pyre myself. We got a little cut thing here. That's the Safari Zone over on the right, um, which I don't know if I'll use or not, but it's noteworthy. Let's talk to this Hex Maniac. Uh, Mount Pyre, natural moment, spirits of the departed Pokemon. Yeah, because it's gonna be, there's a uh, Pokemon Center lady right here. It's a, uh, it's a good thing I just healed all my Pokemon, not, not like just a second ago. Whatever. Well, I healed most of my Pokemon. So this is Route 122. Technically, I can catch another Pokemon here. But actually, come to think about it, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the right so that I can go to the shop real quick. Um, because, yeah, Route 122. Maybe I should teach one of my Pokemon Fly is what I should do. And when I mean one of my Pokemon, I obviously mean Andromeda because... I mean, just reasons. So, let's do that. Yes, teach Andromeda Fly. Uh, already knows four moves. What should we get rid of in in lieu of Fly? Cotton Guard or Steel Wing? I'm going to choose Steel Wing, mainly because it's not that strong. But it is a Steel-type move, and I don't have another Steel-type move. But again, I don't have a Flying-type move either, so... You know, it learned fly. We needed to learn fly. We can actually start flying places. I can actually fly back to the Little Root Town if I want to. But what we need to do is we need to go over and actually unlock the uh, the area of Lily Cove, I think is what it's called. And I think I'm going to fight these two schoolgirls right here, or friends or whatever they're, you know, whatever they're called um, outside this area. They're called uh, teammates, friends. I'm sure they're friends too. If you're, if you're a teammate, then you're probably a friend. Maybe not. Some people are pretty toxic. All right, so they got a uh, couple of annoying Pokemon, actually. Um, so I didn't show you the battle, mainly because Glimmer took on the Truant thing, and then the, the Spinda and stuff just kept, like, making me confused and dizzy, and I kept hurting myself, and then I wasn't even moving because I was using the Truant thing. and It was just a really obnoxious battle. It took me, like, 20 minutes just to beat him because nobody was fighting. So that's why I didn't show you the battle, but really not that big of a deal. We're going to be fast forwarding, obviously, 
Um, just to kind of speed it up a little bit for you, just to show you that I'm still fighting these guys. Um, and I do go back and fight some of the people that I, I skip over um, later. I, I don't always go back, but, you know, when I do, you know, it's noteworthy. Anyway, so she sent out a Pikachu. This is the first Pikachu that we've seen in the game. You can actually catch him in, or I guess her, because that's a female Pikachu. You can tell by the tail. You can catch that guy in the, uh, um, oh, a full world heal. Okay. You can catch him in the Safari Zone. Um, there's a bunch of different sections of the, of the Safari Zone, and I don't know if I'll do that in the next episode or the episode after that. But, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different items you can get in in the Safari Zone. So if we do go in there, I'll probably only allow myself to catch one Pokemon no matter what. Yeah, Lily Cove City. No matter what the uh, area, because the area doesn't change. It's still just called Safari Zone. There's the Pokemon Center. We're going to go up here and we're going to go and buy some stuff real quick. Uh, hey, Seth. Hello. Hey, don't tell me. Are you off to shopping too? I was going to go up and shopping. Was going to go up to shop. <laughs> Right in the famous Lily Cove department store, after all. Yeah, it's like a mall. Uh, I, when I figured you'd come to do some shopping, same as me. Sounds great. <laughs> I'm afraid I already bought tons of stuff, like Pokemon dolls and posters. And <laughs> uh, that's not all I've been doing, of course. Ah, I don't judge you, May. I've also caught tons of different Pokemon, and I've been raising them well, too. Hmm, really? Hmm. I don't know which one to do. I'll probably just do hmm. Ah, uh, you think I'm lying, don't you? That little, hmm, totally, yeah, the, the, the bigger question is, is whether you're raising your Pokemon right, not me. Excuse me, May. So let's settle, let's have a battle. I'm not really ready for a battle. Honestly, I totally forgot that she was going to even show up here. Um, I think my Absol is, like, paralyzed with, like, half health. Like, I wasn't really ready um, for uh, for this trainer battle. I, I bypassed the... The Pokemon Center, like, just moments ago. I thought I could just run up here, grab some uh, Max Heal, or not Max Heals, uh, Max Repels for the thing. Yeah, look, I'm paralyzed with half health. Kaiba can't really fight here, so I'm going to have to switch my Pokemon out. Um, not run. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Probably switch out for Kip. Yeah, I'm going to switch out for Kip, mainly because he's got Rock Slide, um, and that's a, that's a flying Pokemon, so Rock Slide's going to be really effective against him. Uh, Swellow used Aerial Ace. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm a part ground Pokemon, so. Uh, should I Mega Evolve? Or should I just use Rock Slide? I'm going to Mega Evolve. I'm fighting May here. I got to show her what I'm capable of, right? Yeah, reacting to the Mega Brace. Let's do it. <laughs> kind of reminds me of, like, Ben 10. I never watched Ben 10, but uh, that's kind of what it reminded me of a little bit just now. When he was clicking his bracelet. Either way. Now we got our Mega Swamper. Kip -a -p 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 -p. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay, so he used Aerial Ace again. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, used Rock Slide. Let's see what he does. Boom. Does he one-shot the Swellow? And he does. Nice. Super effective. Swellow fainted. That's what May gets for trying to send out birds against my Kip -a -p -p -p. You know? Just gained about 1,200 experience. Kaiba grew to level 36. Looking good. I'm really hoping we can keep... Bok Choi to 41. I'm, I'm really hoping we can keep every single Pokemon that we have on us for the rest of the battle. Whale Lord. I'm probably going to switch out for my Bok Choi. Mainly because it's a Whale Lord and it's water and, you know, Bok Choi is grass. Probably just Giga Drain him the entire time because I think Whale Lord has, like, high physical defense, but not high special defense. And Giga Drain is a special attack. So we'll probably just Giga Drain him straight to death. He's not paralyzed. He's not poisoned or anything. So Venice Shock's not going to do anything. I almost one-shot him. Super effective. If I, had, if I had crit that, he probably would have died with one shot. So that's noteworthy. So his attack... Oh, no. His special defense rose. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just Giga Drain him. Yeah. No big deal there. I got a little, like, flappy arms. Bok Choi is so funny. <laughs> Alright, so that's two That's two Pokemon down and three, and three... Three attacks, two Pokemon down. That's not bad. Uh, Magcargo. Uh, I, do I switch back out for Kip? I mean, Kip's my water Pokemon. So, I probably just Hydro Cannon to death. I got Hydro Cannon, right? Maybe I'll hit Surf. I don't know. Hydro Cannon looks pretty cool. But I can't remember what Surf Surf looks like. Hmm. I don't know. I'm fighting May. She's a pretty heavy hitter, so I'll probably just Hydro Cannon just to stay safe. Because Hydro Cannon's like most, you know, powerful water attack in the game. 
uh, dealing 150 uh, power. <laughs> All right, so that's Mag Cargo down. Four attacks, three Pokemon down. That's almost one-shotting every single one. Andromeda, Andromeda grew to level 38, my Altaria friend. They're sending out Sceptile, or Skeptile, Sceptile, I don't know. Uh, do I switch my Pokemon out for Glimmer, Andromeda, Darwin? Yeah, I like Glimmer. Glimmer's gonna, you know, she's gonna get her, uh, you know, her fix, her battle fix. Um, I don't think she's seen any battle today, at least not yet. Well, I mean, maybe I fought with her earlier. I can't remember. No, no, she did. She did. Uh, she fought that really annoying battle um, that I didn't show you. <laughs> so I could do Draining Kiss, Moonblast. Moonblast is a really heavy hitting uh, fairy move. So either way, I use I use Psychic, um, but it protected itself. So I'll probably just use Psychic again because reasons. Uh, da, 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 da. Nice, flatten me like a pancake. Sounds good. Send the waves of psychicness around you. That almost one shot the Sceptile too. We're gonna use Draining Kiss mainly because he did some he did some damage to me. He's gonna use Detect. That's not gonna do anything. It really just prolongs the battle, so I'll probably just do it again. Yeah, Draining Kiss, Fairy Move. Use Slam. Avoided the attack because I am super fast, just naturally. And I'll heal a little bit, not a ton. Uh, yeah, 99 out of 116. I really only held, healed like 8 health, but that's because he only had like 16. So, I mean, ooh, just about 91996 experience. Grew to level 41. Everything rises. And Darwin grew to level 41 as well. Well, that's pretty good. Well, I'd say that wasn't too bad for being snuck up on by, uh, by my rival. <laughs> As long as Wally doesn't do that to me in uh, Victory Road. Ah, this reminds me of my battle on 103. You were become strong, right, Seth? What did you th say? What if you? What would you say if I said something like that? Hey, hey. I don't know. I'm actually thinking it's about time we went to Little Little Root, though. I've caught a lot of different Pokemon in my Pokédex. It's pretty complete, so I think I should go. Show my dad. Show it to my dad, huh? Did something just sparkle in your bag? Ah, yes. It's like the light from that meteorite. Ah, you don't say. <laughs> oh, nothing. Sorry, just forget it. I'm probably just imagining things. Why is the meteorite shining in the first place? Seth, what are you going to do? Are you going to collect all the gym badges and take on the Pokemon League challenge? Uh, yes or no? What if I said no? I said yes, but... Uh, typical Seth, uh, collecting badges, complete my Pokedex. I guess I'll be off then. Yeah, so she was telling me to go back to Lilligroot as well. I think she told me to go visit my mom back at Fortree City. Uh, when we did that battle there as well. Uh, so we're going to rest up our Pokemon real quick, because we can't be caught out in another battle, you know, like that. I really like having the Premier Ball and the Luxury Ball next to each other, because it's, like, all white and, like, all black. It's a really nice contra contrast with Glimmer and uh, Kaiba. But before we go to Little Root, I have taught Fly to Andromeda. Um, but if we go over here, I believe this is where the fans of the Contest Spectacular Trainers are possessing a contest quiz. Yeah, this is all about, like, the, uh, yeah. Uh, Lysa, what Pokemon does she like? She she has the Altaria, right? Her name is Allie. Allie the Altaria or something. So I have an Andromeda on me right now. I expect nothing less from you. Your Altaria looks pretty amazing too, doesn't it? Uh, you can make it, can't you? And I obtained an Altarianite. So now Andromeda can turn into a Mega Pokemon. That's not too bad. And I accidentally clicked him again. Okay. We'll probably have to uh, go into our bag real quick and uh, apply this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Altarianite, there we go. Yeah, have Altaria hold it and it'll Mega Evolve during battle. Sounds good. I don't see why I wouldn't give it to her. She was holding safety goggles that helps her like, yeah, that's not really good. <laughs> I don't know why I had that on her. Either way, so now she can Mega Evolve, that's awesome. Either way, we're gonna go in here into the mall because I wanna get some max repels and I wanna get some extra moves as well. Um, da, 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 da. Do you have what I'm looking for? Uh, buy, Pokeball, Ultra Ball. Oh, wait. Uh, I gotta go back into that because this is this is where they're gonna sell the uh, max repels. Uh, I'll probably get like seven. Yeah, I'll get like seven, cost 4,900. A little expensive for some max repels, and seeing that I really want to have like 
I, I probably shouldn't even get that many max repels. I just don't know how many I'm going to need for Mount Pyre. Um, what's over here? What are you guys selling? Welcome to the Lilico department store. What are you looking for? I am looking for... Ooh, okay. So that's where I can buy, like, those permanently... Oh, wait, no. Maybe the other chick will send me the permanently increasing ones, like Zinks and stuff. But those were, for, those were, like, temporary ones. Maybe it's these people. So, yeah, yeah. It's these people. You see how they have those TMs in the back? Those, like, CDs? Okay, so these are... They're worth 10,000. They're all defensive. So I'm guessing that this next chick next to me is going to have the uh, the non-defensive ones, the attacking ones. Yes, 30,000 apiece. So I can only buy three because I have 97,000. Uh, I'm going to buy Fire Blast for sure. That's a fire move. I'm probably going to give that to Kaiba. And I'm going to get Blizzard for sure. We're going to give that to Kipapapa because reasons. I mean, Blizzard, it's going to be the ice move. And I'll probably get Focus Blast or maybe Stone Edge. Stone Edge is going to be pretty good, and Focus Blast is also going to be pretty good. I'll probably get Focus Blast. So I, I would get Stone Edge, but the thing is, is like I already have Stone Edge would go for would go on Kip, and if I have Blizzard and I have Hydro Cannon, those are both like only five. They're like five power point moves, and if I were to get that one, it's it's going to be another like five five power move. So. I would I would run out of my uh, my moves too fast if I got Stone Edge, which is why I had to get Focus Blast because I can't have one I can't have my super OP Pokemon having like three moves with only five attacks, you know. Hones local heroes in the face of the board of the hero heroine. Okay, um, yeah. Can I go behind it? Oh, I can. Oh, I look awesome. Look at that guy in the background just staring at me. And so we're gonna go into the bag real quick, or not the bag, but like our Pokemon section, because we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use Fly um, somewhere. Use a move, probably not here. Use a move. Yeah, we're gonna use Fly, and we're gonna fly all the way over to da -da -da -da, Lily, little little root, little root right here. It looks like a uh, a Spearow, not a Spearow, but a uh, when I'm flying. Oh, what's a Talo? Yeah, it looks kind of like a tailo. Either way, we're here at Little Root. We gotta go visit our mom. How you doing? Ah, uh, did Dad give you that badge? He sure did. Then there's something from your mom. I obtained an amulet coin. Oh, amulet coin is pretty cool. I didn't know that this is where I got it. I forgot all about the amulet coin, to be honest. Um, don't put yourself too hard, dear. You can always come back, come home if you need or whatever. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's go into the bag real quick and uh, and like check out this amulet coin. And that's not what I want to click. <laughs> Let's uh, go into the bag. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Here's the Amulet Coin. Item to be held by Pokemon doubles any prize money received. The, Pokemon ho the holding Pokemon joins a battle. So that's pretty cool. Also, the Amulet Coin kind of looks like the uh, the thing on top of a, uh, a Meowth. You know, like that lucky coin thing on top of his head. So, we're going to give the, uh, yeah, we gave the amulet coin to one of our Pokemon, looking good. We're going to fly back because we got to go to Mount Pyre, right? That's where we got to go. Um, I wasn't expecting there to be a, uh, a battle with, with, with May today. I was planning on doing Mount Pyre today, but I'll probably be leaving the episode here pretty shortly. Now, this is a new area, so if I come across the Pokemon, I'll fight it, and I'll probably try to catch it. Um, and here I am. Okay, so I am catching a Pokemon. And it's a Wingle. Okay. Uh, what should we name the Wingle? Hey, everybody, every, everybody start thinking about a good name for a Wingle. I mean, obviously, if I catch it, I'm going to name it before you can give me the answer. But, you know, think of some cool names. Anyway, so I'm going to just go straight into the bag, and I'll probably throw a quick ball at it, mainly because... You know, we don't want to mess around. We don't want to kill it. It's only a level 20. I'm using a quick ball. Now, if you notice me right here, uh, you didn't see if I caught it or not, but I wasn't that far away. Uh, my cat jumped up on my keyboard, stopped the recording. So, um, you know, I was just like right over here just to show you where I was. Wasn't I didn't go very far, but yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I'm leaving it here. I named him Mr. Flap Flap because he's a cool little bird. Um, Mount Pyre's right here, and we're probably going to leave the episode here, at least just for now. So I hope you guys liked it, and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.